Okay, iOS 5 was just released, and what's awesome about this release is that we have a working jailbreak from day one. Here you can see my iPhone 4 has already been updated to iOS 5, and it has not been jailbroken. There's no Cydia app. So let's fix that. Let's begin by grabbing a copy of Resno. I'm going to download it here and save it to my desktop where I could easily find it. Okay, now that that is done, let's extract that and launch Red Snow. Okay, so we start by having the iPhone already connected to the computer. Now, in Red Snow, we just need to do one thing, click the jailbreak button. Okay, at this screen, Red Snow is already waiting for the iPhone in DFU mode. So you don't need to click on the next button, try to follow Red Snow's directions or anything like that. Just follow along as I do mine. So I'm going to start by putting the iPhone into DFU mode. My simple way of doing that is holding down both the home button and the top sleep button. And then as soon as the phone turns off, you count to about six alligators and release the top button. But keep the home button held down. You just keep it holding down, held down until rest no detects the phone in DFU mode. Okay, so I'm going to start now. Okay, one alligator, two alligator, three alligator, four alligator, five alligator, six alligator. Okay, keep holding that down. And you'll see that Red Snow will detect the phone. It's in DFU mode. You can release it now. Now keep in mind that in DFU mode, the phone's LCD will remain blank, okay? But as soon as um, Red Snow start injecting, finish injecting the jailbreak, it'll reboot the phone and you'll see a flash of white screen, which you already saw. And now it's going to start patching the kernel. You could kind of see that happening. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to install Cydia? You hit the next, and it's going to process that. And for the sake of being thorough, I'm going to keep the um, video recorded. And you can see the entire process from start to finish. Um, you guys watching, you guys could just skip forward if you like. And right now the phone is going to reboot. So as far as um, Red Snow um, is completed, the rest of the jailbreak operation happens on the iPhone itself. So you can just click cancel to get out of here. And it shouldn't take too long maybe another minute or two here you know definitely take a look and, and keep an eye on you know all the text and stuff that is uh, going by on the screen make sure you don't see any type of error message or anything like that
definitely when you're taking you're looking at you know anything booting whether it's your computer or your phone it seems to uh take longer than you normally think it is but have some patience let it finish the process Okay, it looks like the phone is uh, booting up again. Okay, so the boot process has finished. Let's slide to unlock. And let's check to see if Cydia has been installed. And there you go, you see Cydia. Now, um, what I find is that I need to reboot one more time. You see how the Cydia icon is white? I think we have to do one more tethered um, boot. So let's do that. Open up Red Snow. Now click on Extras. And then click on Just Boot. And then let's put the phone into DFU mode again. Hold both the top and bottom button until it shuts down. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator, four alligator, five alligator, six alligator. Keep the home button held down. And you'll see the red snow detect the iPhone when it's in DFU mode. You can release the home button now. This is basically the tethered, you know, booting process that you hear about, because this uh, current jailbreak for iOS five on the iPhone four is a uh, tethered jailbreak. I don't find tethered, you know, booting a problem at all because, really, I never have a need to reboot my phone, or even turn it off. So, you know, the, the benefits of jailbreaking far outweighs the inconvenience of having to tether to your phone each time you have to reboot. Because I never have to reboot. Respringing and stuff that you, you see happen when you need to install um, Cydia apps, um, that's just a respring. That's not a reboot. So, you no need to tether there. The only time you have to tether is if the phone has been turned off and needs to be turned on again. Or if you have to actually reboot the phone itself. But you see, Retinol is complete. Um, we're just waiting for the boot process to finish and that happens a lot quicker than um, when we last jailbreaked it. And here you go, the phone's booted. I'm gonna slide to unlock. And there's Cydia. Very good. Anyways, um, definitely check the video notes for any pertinent links and more details. Otherwise, uh, if you like the video, rate, subscribe, add comments, and I'll do my best to reply to them. Thanks.